today's lesson is how to create folders, how to name them, how to rename them, how to move them, how to change the view. We're going to be learning a lot of things today. The first thing, the easiest way of creating a new folder, which you will want to do because all your files, all your programs, everything on your computer is organized into folders. And you will want to have one folder for your own files that you can save your files to and you'll know exactly where you saved them. One of the most common mistakes for beginners is, where did you save your file? I don't know. They didn't look to see where they saved them. That's why we get organized with folders. Back to how to create a new folder. The simplest thing is to go up to your menu across the top, go and click on File, and there you go, New Folder. Not New Finder Window, New Folder. Not New Smart Folder, not New Burn Folder, just plain old New Folder. Now, while you're here with the File New Folder menu open, look and see there is the shortcut, the keyboard shortcut. All your keyboard shortcuts are shown when you go to your Finder menu. So you can use that or not. You're going to find your own way of working on your desktop. Whatever works for you. Each person is more individual. You will have your own way. You may decide to go to the menu each time and do your new folder because that's convenient, easy, and you don't have to think about it. You may decide you want to use the right click to get a menu up, which I will go over in a minute. But right now, we're just going to simply go new, find new folder. And then over on the desktop, you look and see there is our new folder. It is called Untitled Folder. It is highlighted. It's got the light blue behind it. That means you can hit your delete key, type in folder one, and then you just hit your return or your enter and there's your new folder. Now, if you, let's move this one to the trash, and let's do that again. We go up to File, New Folder. There it is ready for us to name. You do not have to hit the delete key to get rid of the words Untitled Folder. As long as you do not click anywhere, you can go ahead and just type right over that folder 1. Hit your return or your enter key and there is your new folder. Again, I'm going to put this into the trash. I like to use right click. It's easier. When you right click on anything, you will get a separate menu up and then I can just choose move to trash. Go back over. Now you can see it takes time to move the mouse and go over here each time. So that's why you may decide that you like to use keyboard shortcuts. Once again, File, New Folder. Now, what happens to a lot of new students? They'll accidentally click on the background. Now, Untitled Folder is not highlighted. The folder is not selected. If you tried to type in words to rename it, you cannot. So what do you do? I would deselect the folder, click once on the title Untitled Folder, wait a second and click one more time and you see now you have the light blue behind it where you can either hit the delete key and type Untitled Folder or you can type right over it Folder 1, hit your return and or enter key and there you have your new folder. What do you want to do if you've messed it up and you've named it the wrong folder? Okay, we'll just click once on it, wait a second, and there you have it and now you can type folder 2. Hit your return or enter key and now you have your folder 2. Now you were watching me use a lot of the right click right click on the folder and what do you have? You have open, 
move to trash, get information, we're going to cover all of these, make alias, duplicate, we're going to do all of these in the future. You can even label it, have it a certain color. That is our right click. Left click or regular click will allow you to move the folder. Right click gives you a new menu. Now you see I have right clicked on the background. I have a different menu. These are all items that refer to tasks that you would do with the background. If I right click on my folder you see I have a different menu that pops up and that shows all the things that you can do with that folder including move it to the trash. Now remember the command key that we saw up here when we went to file new folder again that is your control or your command shift is the up arrow and new so let's try that I'm going to hold down my control and my shift as I hold those two keys down I'm going to hit new hit in now you see I have my untitled folder it is ready for me to either delete and type the new words in or I can undo that I can just type the words right over it and I have created a folder two different ways one through using the menu one through using a keyboard shortcut now I've been talking about the right clicking a lot I'm going to right click and move this to the trash and now I will do a right click to create a new folder I am selecting clicking on the background of the desktop and I go right click and there's new folder boom there it is ready for me to now you notice that's a little different it didn't go up to the corner it just goes wherever I have right clicked so that is something you may want to be aware of if you want to place a folder in a certain area you could right click and have it go there otherwise if you don't and you do your command shift in it goes up to the corner that one is ready for us to rename folder 2 now if you wanted to move that folder by folder 1 you can select it regular click not right click click and drag and now you have your two folders nice and neat and organized if you want to move both folders at once you simply click and drag to select both draw a box around them click and drag put them up in the corner or wherever you would like them deselect and they're set there and I think that is enough for our first lesson <music>